AMC just hit another record low close, extending a losing streak to four days. Yahoo Finance also posted about AMC's all-time low, and then Quartz posted one-time meme stock, AMC has hit rock bottom. Yeah, this doesn't seem to make any sense because retail isn't selling the stock, and the short interest is apparently dropping, at least according to the sources that we deem somewhat reliable, which if you haven't seen my Ortex short, I show you where Ortex actually gets their data, and we can't deem this as reliable reliable <clears throat> as well as any other source as reliable because it's essentially third-party information self-reporting etc etc but we can identify a trend so I find it weird that the short interest is decreasing while AMC is hitting all-time lows trading at five dollars and fifteen cents down 2.83 percent on the trading day today what is going on guys lottery stocks here welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you're new today we have a lot of stuff to cover first AMC GameStop the numbers I want to tell you how much short sellers are now down first it was 135 billion actually before that it was about 45 billion then 78 billion then 135 or somewhat in that zone 140 something and then 178 now they are down a different amount and i want to tell you exactly what that amount is after and where they're actually losing most of their short position money from but before we get into that all i ask you guys to do of course is to please hit the like button on the video subscribe to the channel get us to 20k subs let's get into it so amc with what we've been tracking, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. It's hitting a new low. And yes, lottery stocks, do you think it could look could go lower. I think it could come down to $4.35, which would be the same exact retracement we had in the previous run before January, before the January quote unquote squeeze, right? Shorts never got out, but it would be a 36% drop at the beginning of the yellow part of the cycle, which would bring AMC down to $4.35. Also, Citigroup's price targets usually get hit and they bet 475 on AMC. Now they usually get hit because of manipulation. I know this bank isn't correct. I don't agree with them at all. Obviously AMC is very, very undervalued, et cetera, et cetera. Now I did wanna say, of course, before we jump into GameStop, if we don't see some sort of move in the next week, maybe two weeks at most, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad for the overall market. It's gonna be bad for the meme stocks we hold and probably our entire portfolios. That is the less likely scenario. I think AMC, GameStop are more likely to have what they had back in January of 2021 and June of 2021 than not over the next two weeks. Now moving on, touching on GameStop, this is basically the macro perspective of GameStop trading at $16.25, basically trading sideways. GameStop's volume is decreasing. It's actually been the lowest volume uh, at least for a couple of months now that we have ever seen, which is very odd, especially considering we just had a pop, but this is good for GameStop because we tested the wedge, right? And now we're consolidating and I am on the weekly time frame here, but if I was on the daily, you would see consolidation, a volume decrease, and then volume exhaustion, which means that GameStop, once volume picks up, could move the other way, which would be to the upside for the first time breaking out of this wedge, which is something that we do want to see. Um, GameStop's low, we're watching $11.90, the previous low that it hit. Otherwise, it's gonna come into a worse trading range, but overall, it is holding up better than AMC over the long term, and we're watching to see if we can actually break out of this wedge. If we don't, we're gonna see a hard move back down for GameStop playing through another cycle, which is something I wanted to bring up because if AMC and GameStop do play through another cycle, GameStop can survive. AMC will have to do another reverse split or go to zero, right? And the reason being is because these cycles last too long and I map them out to the degree as to where it would push AMC to zero and delisting unless we had a reverse split. So <clears throat> I don't think another cycle is um, probable. I, I think that if that's what short sellers and SEC is gonna let slide, then it's gonna be bad for us retail investors, less likely scenario. Now, another thing to note, the second week of January has historically been very well for GameStop over the past three years. Um, in 2021, up 95%, 2022, 21%, and then 2023, 41%. So it's not a bad idea to play some calls with a very, very close stop on GameStop or just shares, right? Just shares in general. None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but this also lines up with the point of interest and how GameStop is gapping up right now. If GameStop does do no, does do well for another week, that could be the breakout of the wedge that we have been waiting for. 
Now, before I get into how much short sellers are down, let's touch on the numbers. AMC has 3.2 million shares available to borrow, basically no calls compared to 26,000 puts expiring in the money, and then 77,000 calls expiring out of the money, getting handed over to market makers like Virtu and Citadel, which is a horrible thing to see. You need to know when to play calls on AMC. Don't play them close if you are going to play them. And if you don't know how to play them, don't play them at all. Again, we're watching January 19th expiration. Hopefully, AMC has bottomed out either this week or next week by then right and then we'll see that large large potential gamma ramp forming but as of right now you're getting a gamma ramp to the downside and we are losing on the options chain now gamestop 35,000 shares available to borrow 3,000 calls compared to 4,000 puts expiring in the money so we are slightly losing on the options chain nothing really happening 40,000 calls out of the money going to mark makers that premium and then the major expiration for the 19th Short exempts, 4,000 on GameStop. Forgot to tell you on AMC, 270,000, still extremely high, down from 313,000. So they are, of course, illegally suppressing the price for GameStop and AMC. Now, short sellers ended 2023 with 195 billion in losses. This is what they ended 2023 with, and this is not what they are down currently. This is what they were just down when the year ended, and now that we are in January, they may be losing a substantial more amount of money as we speak. Now, what are the stocks that are causing these losses for short sellers? Tesla at the top $12.2 billion, and that is going to increase in my opinion. I am extremely bullish on Tesla. We're going to touch on it towards the end of the video. I can't wait. NVIDIA, 11.2. Apple, 7.3. Meta, 6.6. .6, Microsoft, 5.6. Amazon, 4.9. Coin, 4.2. AVGO, 3.3. AMD, 3.2. And then PANW, 3.1. Now, this is crazy because most of these are blue chips, the Magnificent Seven, which hedge funds are actually overcrowding trades, which means once one of these dominoes falls, once one of these short sellers goes under, you're going to see a large domino effect for short sellers going forward in these blue chip stocks. So be aware of that. Now, also, guys, before we move on, don't forget that hedge funds are also very scared and suing the SEC because of this new transparent reporting interest data, yada, yada, yada. So that is still undergoing. Hedge funds are worried. Now, I also wanted to touch on this because I completely agree. The Epstein information is dropped at a perfectly timed distraction point. Okay. I don't know what it's for, but when we have something where the social media and everyone starts talking about and corroborating at once, you're going to see something happen in the backgrounds that no one's paying attention to because they are paying attention to this. So just pay attention to the background. And that is my message to you. Now, before we move on, guys, get in the discord. The link is right under the video. I'm in there on the daily. We talk stocks all day long. Level up your trading journey. Come talk with the most amazing people. Stocks in crypto all day long for 2024. We have options trading alerts in there as well. Post gains, post losses. And yeah, best place to be. That link is in the top of the description and pinned in the top of comments, along with the Moomoo link, which you guys have to do this right now. Sign up, make an account, and use my link either today or over the weekend when you have time. It takes two minutes out of your day. Not only is it a great platform, right? You're just signing up using my link and you're getting free level two order book data, access to trading options, going long, going short, viewing other exchanges, and the best notifications ever. So it's just upgrading yourself and the way you are involved in the stock market. But on top of that, free stocks, each valued up to two grand per stock and 5.1% on your cash that is uninvested. So use my link, sign up for Moomoo and deposit any amount that can literally be a penny from your bank. Getting back to the video, North Korea might attack South Korea. Touching on war, this is never good for the economy. South Korean government has given an evacuation order to roughly 2,000 people living on, I am not going to try and pronounce this island, of South Korea in the Yellow Sea due to a possible North Korean attack. Now war will affect the overall market and speaking of the overall market touching on the spy 468.42 up 0.24 percent on the day it tried to break above the resistance level <clears throat> at 468.40 and it wicked above and now it looks like the candle is going to close under that resistance level also keep in mind the rsi was extremely overbought on the on the spy and now we are nearing the 50 zone again for spy so spy is just cooling off in my opinion for another move higher. However, if we break below and crash down, watch for a move under 460 and a bottom at 455. And if we move higher, watch for a retest on 477.50, coming up to the all time high at 480. Tesla, weekly time frame. Take a look back here. Tesla got this hammer candle and then sort of two days of selling pressure, wicking down. Hammer candle, two days of selling pressure, wicking down, trading at 239.48 dipping its toes to 235 and now i think this is the last day 
of the week, last week, in my opinion, to get in Tesla. I think it's all upside from here, according to the previous cycle, and I'm going to stand by that. Crypto, Bitcoin trading at 43,000, still above this wedge, basing on the top of it, which is looking pretty decent. But speaking of Bitcoin, we may see a move tonight as BlackRock's 10 million purchase should happen today. Also, the SEC is meeting with officials from major exchanges to discuss spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds, aka the ETFs, and the SEC may issue its decision on the ETF approval applications as early as today or on Monday or Tuesday. Finally, to close out the video, if you're wondering why a Bitcoin ETF is bullish, here's what a gold spot ETF did. Overall, guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to hit the like button on your way out. Get in the Discord, get your free stocks by signing up, making a deposit into your Moomoo account. That is it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I love you all. Lottery Socks out.